All right, this morning I woke up out of a dream and I had the next song, but I couldn't remember the whole song. The only thing I could remember, because I do dream about songs, um, I could remember the line, be reconciled, child, let it be. That's all I could remember. Um, so I had coffee with Cynthia Altman today and we talked about what the next song could be about. And so she's a co-writer on this song. And um, I hope it blesses you. Look at the world around you. Can you not see his hand? Making a way now for you. I pray you understand. He's called you to something greater, a life you could not foresee, and all that he's asking from you, surrender everything, be reconciled child to the way, be reconciled child. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Be reconciled to God through Christ. Be reconciled to God through Christ. Look at the world around you. Nothing is as it seems. There is a strong delusion, a blindness to the reality of what this world is. Nothing is as it seems. The delusion comes from your enemy. He wants you to keep on seeking without ever finding truth. But Jesus is so much greater and he is calling you to surrender your life to him, to see the world he sees, to see the world the way he sees, to be freed, 
be freed. There is only one way to the Father, and that is through Jesus Christ, his Son. Until you are born again, you are literally blind and you are in chains. You are in chains. You are a slave to this world system, which sounds like crazy talk until you see the truth. This thing you love, this bodysuit you love, you're a prisoner. You is in here. The you who is you is in here. This is just a, a suit. It's just covering. Who you really are is in here. And if you are born again, you have the life of God in you. But until you are born again, guess what, baby? You're the walking dead. You are literally the walking dead, spiritually dead. You might be religious. You might pray five times a day, but you do not know the heart of God. You do not have his life in you unless you are born again. And God made a way for that to happen. He made it one way. And because man is so selfish and wants it his way, I mean, we all want it our way, don't we, baby? We want it our way. Because we are selfish and we need a savior because we are absolutely selfish, selfish, selfish people who are blind, loving this world, God made one way. It's a narrow road that leads to life and few find it, he says. Few find it. One way, Jesus the Christ. You can be on that broad road to destruction that has Many, 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 many seekers going down it. Seekers. Plenty of Christians on that road too. Quote, quotes. Not the born again ones. Not the real ones. But all the religious ones. Lots and lots and lots of them. On that broad road that leads to destruction. Because they don't really love God. They don't really love Jesus. They're not willing to surrender their life. They like being religious so they feel good about themselves because it's all about the self. But they have not surrendered their life to Christ. And that is the, what would it be called, Lord? Give me a word. He's just showing me separating the goats from the sheep. That's how he tells the, the sheep from the goats. Who's surrendered, born again, loves God, and who doesn't? Wake up, guys. I'm not trying to be mean. I literally am telling you, I know for a fact that we are at the end of the age and Jesus is coming soon and you gotta get your house in order. Like you do not have a lot of time. And I speak to the Christians, the quote, quote, Christians, fill in the church seats every Sunday who are dead as a doorknob. Dead, 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 dead. You think you have life. You search the scriptures and in them you think you have life. But you're dead. Wake up. Surrender your life to Jesus Christ. And you will know the way. You will have his life. And you will know the truth. 
and the truth will set you free. He's coming soon. He's coming soon. God bless you.